Hi, and welcome back to another video for the uh, PHP Level 2 class. We're going to do the last uh, document here in our activity number 11, which is design a complete database for a store. And so I'm going to go all the way to the bottom now, and the document says that one of our deliverables is a data dictionary. So let's talk in this video about how to build one and what you would need to put in it. So I'm looking at this website here, and it has a title called Four Functions and Shapes of Data Dictionaries that you need. So in this example here, let's look at some of the things that a data dictionary has in it. So in this first section here on called Gathering Requirements, this is a list of data that you would be talking about as you are talking to the business experts. And so you would ask, what kind of things do you want to collect? And this example is a CRM, which is a Customer Relation Management System. Or for those of us that are not into sales, this is a sales contact list. And so you can see that we have a table or entity called contacts and all of the different pieces that are in the table. Now the important part is the uh, description over here. So we know if the, uh, if the attribute name doesn't completely make sense, uh, we give it some more details. In the modeling part, though, we start to put in some details about what kind of uh, data we would probably be uh, implementing here. So we have a column here called nullable, which means can it be empty? And uh, yes or no is all we have. And then also we have a, a relation type, so one to many or many to one, many to many. Probably most important is item number three. And so when we start to create our database itself in MySQL, we have some very specific requirements. Let's look at this item here where it says marital status, and it has a single character. Now, the data dictionary is important here because it tells us that the only four letters that we're going to expect to be in this field are S, M, D, and W. And so that is a data dictionary classic example. Let's look at the last item down here. It says country with three characters. So if I were just looking at the first item here, I would think country is a string and it's going to have the full name of the country. Actually, what they want are the three-letter codes for the ISO code for the country. So we'd have to go look that up on the internet to see what those are, but every country has three-letter code. What would this PK stand for? Primary key, likely. And so we have a, a yes for primary key on some of these tables. So a data dictionary is going to have the column name, the data type, and specifically if there are restrictions on the data. So the last item in your deliverable is going to be a spreadsheet. A data dictionary will describe every detail, every field, every column in your tables and what type of data they are going to have, how long you expect the strings to be, what type of uh, data you can expect in data, like number ranges or letter sets. So everything that would be in a data dictionary would go in the spreadsheet. 